The Battle of Idrisil Hint says, 30 waves of monsters are about to attack this place, and our top priority is to stop them from attacking the tree roots. But it goes beyond that wave. There's more to it, and they are becoming stronger and stronger. So, this circle artifact on the ground is where our summoned mercenaries are summoned and waiting for incoming enemies. We do need them, especially priest if we aren't support priest itself in the first wave. Well, it's easy. Let's fast forward a bit. This is the current mana used for summoning or upgrading mercenaries. As you can see, it automatically gain an amount per second. Here at wave 20, there will be a Frioni. This can be a reminder point that you are in wave 20, and this is important. Because at wave 21, it is important to remember to stay as close as possible to the root of Yggdrasil. Wave 21 summons a rotor Zyro near the Yggdrasil, and it directly attacks the root. For knights, Provoke is useful in this instance. This snatches enemy's aggression, reducing its dealt damage toward tree. By this time, it's recommended to always have sight of the root Yggdrasil as more waves of Rotor Zyro are coming in. Also, you should have already decided on what mercenaries would be more useful together with your character. For me though, as a tanker, I lock of damage, which would be preferable to have a wizard as mercenaries, but since I have a good damager pet, i rather have another tank. This is because I'm still not well familiar with this event. Okay, another problem is the bomb. You will notice a warning sign appears in here. Bombs are easy to deal with. All you have to do is make it detonate itself while still afar. Problem is that it can damage tree greatly with its explosion. After this wave 30, monsters are multiplied and boosted their power greatly. And Priest is super useful with their healing power. Furthermore, more orcs are summoned and they have only one objective, to get to the tree no matter what, which provoking is essential for us knights though. Disabling them like freeze, stun, and sleep would be the best option you could have. Fast forward. We reach wave 40, the boss here, for my current power, is too much to handle, and dying would be the end of it. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll be uploading more and more videos. And here's an Amatsu theme song. Have fun and enjoy.